Alright, shalom. Shalom. Alright, first and foremost, before we get started, we're gonna give all honor and glory and power to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakhakadash. I ain't gonna say double honors, Ty Elders, our great apostles, great ministers, I rule well and teach well, being a great example to Israel, my dear elect, and peace and blessing to the hope of the elect on the four corner, pushing the truth and sincerity, that great song. I right, with the Memphis camp, linked up with the Landville uh, camp, all right? Hey, we just come with an open form, all right, in the spirit, you know, the Wadi Habashim Al Shah for connecting this, man, you know? So we're gonna go into prophecy. All right, because that's what's really popping. All right, the prophecies, man, of your high by Shema Shah, man. All right, and Lord willing, they continue to come down like a domino effect, man. All right, because one thing about it, we hasten in the day to get up out of here, man. All right, the coming of your high All right, it's, it's the, the IRS, man. All right, and that's what brother's waiting on, patiently waiting on, man, to, to really be in rest. All right, hey, from all the sorrows, all right, and pains and everything else, man. All right, we're waiting on a, a righteous kingdom to come, man. So we'll go through these prophecies. I hope you brothers edify, you know, while we lay the law down, man. Yo, you got it? That Habakkuk? Come. Yeah, this is uh, Habakkuk chapter 2, starting at verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Right, and let's, let's go into the prophecies, man. All right? Week in and week out, in season, out of season, all through the week, man. Hey, certain things go on through the through the media, through the world. What we do, we come out and put in a forefront and add the scriptures, all right, with the ongoing of this world, man. That's what it's called prophecy, speak before it happens. Because these things are written in the scriptures, all right? So we just put in history, all right, and things happen in the world, and right? we just put it through the scriptures, and we come out with it, man. All right, just to let you know that, the word of Yahweh by Shema Shai is faithful and true, man, because he spoke of these things, man. You know, a long time ago, man, we bringing these things to life, man. Go ahead. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. Yeah, yep, make it, make, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. Go ahead. That he may run that readeth it. Right, and we're talking about the elect, man. Because only the elect gonna understand, all right, and her, this doctrine, man. All right, so he did running the reader. It's talking about the elect, man. Everybody can't get this, man. Like it say in uh, Revelation, you can get it real quick. Revelation 14, uh, 20. I mean, Revelation 14, uh, 4. Like, Revelation 14 and 4. These are they. No, no, it's like the, uh, the, I think it's 14 and start at 3. Started three, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Revelation fourteen and verse three, and they sung it. So like, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne uh -huh. and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand. Right. So that's what we're making the plan upon tables too, man. All right. Because all people can sing the song and resonate with their spirit is the hundred forty-four thousand, man. That means yeah. they elect, man. All right. Go ahead. Come on, which were redeemed from the earth. Right, going back to Jeremiah, man. Before I knew thee, I formed thee. You know, he ordained what? As a prophet. Yep. You know, because the scripture speaks about uh, the prophet is subject, the spirit of prophet is subject so, to, to the, the prophets, prophets. man. <clears throat> so, hey, same thing, man. We were prophets back then, we prophets now. All right, Lord willing, you know, we we're part of that number, man. But we're going to the prophet just to see, uh, just to show, hey, the Lord's words are faithful and true, man. All right, and he said you heard rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places. We see that, and it's been so many UFO sightings, man. It's, it's unpredictable, man. All right, it, it's, a, it's we living in, in, in some exciting times, man. That we know that the Lord is on His way back, man. God. Just how the earth, just how the earth moving, you know. God. I got some. Go ahead, go ahead. You got some? No, nah, yeah, you know, you know, still go. I got that. Oh, I read the second Ezra 9. Yeah, can I hold it? Chapter right. It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Right, see, and that's the thing. Because we are here speaking the good news, which is the gospel. But he says, speak to his people, which is who are Israelites. You know, because when you go into uh, Ezekiel, he said, whether they hear up or birth. You know, whether they give a damn or don't give a damn, let them know. 
Why? Because when the Lord comes, you won't have no cloak for your sins, man. You can't tell Yahweh by Shema Shah that you didn't know. Why? Because you heard this, man. You know? So speak into the ears of his people, man, who are Israelites. Go ahead. Come. Which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Yahweh Shah. Right. See, he going to put it in our mouth, man. Break and grab Matthew 10 and 20. Because the Lord do this, man. It said, man, go on to the Lord. How did a man understand his own way, man? All right? The Lord directed our footsteps, man. All right? Well, you got it. Go get it. Matthew 10, 20. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. See? So the Lord put this word in our mouth. It ain't us. It's your high by Shema Shah. Because he said, it's not us that speak. But the Father was speaking within us, man. Yeah. So it's the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai lead us to say the things that we say, man. All right? And what we're speaking on prophecy, man. All right? Because these things are going to come to pass, man. All right? Jacob Trouble is on his way, man. That's why we tell our people to wake up. It's high time to wake out of sleep, man. All right? Salvation is than we believe, man. These prophecies are really going to kick out, you know? So it's a it's, it's thing that should not be in, 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 in sleep, man. All right, don't be asleep. Be awake, man. Be alert. All right, and, and, and come back to your true power, man, because the time is coming. You're going to need them, man. All right, you're going to need your high by Shema Shah, man. You're going to need that hedge, man. All right, because prophecy is going to kick out. The devil is coming down, having great wrath. No, you have but a short time, man. It's coming. Hey, you know? So, like, you're yeah. speaking in the right spirit because. You look at the Christian churches and shit like that. You know, when, and then when you go to Revelations, uh, I believe it's, it's towards the end, but it talks about the spirit of, of, of Yahweh Shah, the spirit of prophecy. Ah, yeah, like like that. That. I'm like that. That. Uh, you go ahead and get it in, bro. Uh, it's on Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. <clears throat> and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. So the, so the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. So that's mm -hmm. really the spirit that anybody, any anybody coming and claiming that they have the word of God, that's the spirit that they should be coming into. Bro. They should be coming in the spirit to where they're speaking of things concerning Yahweh Shah. Coming of them. Yeah, right. Con. Yahweh Shah is the ultimate, or Yahweh Shah's second coming is the ultimate prophecy. That's the prophecy where we're going to get our deliverance. We're going to get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah. So if, if you're not talking about that, you know, and not even just talking about that, if you're not talking about the things leading up to that, you're not you're not doing this correctly. The Christian church isn't talking about the things leading up to the return of, of our Lord and Savior. They're talking about the Lord coming back with rainbows and flowers. They're not talking about all the destruction and death that's going to come upon the earth uh -huh. when he, before he comes back. Those are the signs that we see pursuant to 2nd Andrew of the ninth chapter. Those are the signs that we see. Uh, the very times where the, uh, where, where uh, the Most High, uh, what is it? Ah, uh, what is it? Say, you mean to visit the Earth? Yeah, come. Where he gonna visit the Earth, man? Yeah. These are the exact same times that we're coming into. Uh -huh. You know. That's so, right. so this we, you know, hey, at the end of the day, too. Also, man, you gonna see your prophets, man. You gonna see the true men of the Lord. You know, you gonna know that the prophet have been among you. Yes, yeah, so read, read that one more time. Uh, yeah, Revelation yeah, nineteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Put it on. It's Revelation 19 and 10. And, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. And that's, that's something that separates this book from you know any other book is prophecy. Yeah. You know, because this this book doesn't only prophesy the downfall of America. But it also prophesies the downfall of all these other heathen nations, right. and all the heathen nations that set up their kingdom before. You know, this this book prophesied Yahweh Shai's first coming. You know, mm -hmm. to take away the sins of, of you know the uh, Israel, the Israel like and then you know, and his second coming. You know, all all of the past prophecies happened. So how much more the the little inkling ones left? Exactly. You know, so if you're if you're not talking about that, then hey, Yahweh Shai is in dealing with you. Yeah. Um, we're still living in on uh, past prophecy. Right. Yeah. We're still living in that, man. Yeah, what's that, Baruch? We at this day and I what? Captivity. Yeah. So we where we at? We still in captivity. Yeah. yeah. With uh, yeah. 
Cursed be he that do the work of the Lord deceitfully, and cursed be he that keep back his word from blood. Hey, uh -huh. and, and these Christian pastors, they do the work of the Lord deceitfully. They do it to fill uh, the lust of their own belly, man. Yeah, it's, it's, you know? it's about the two say, uh, the, uh, the, uh, Luke. Luke say, yeah, yeah, come, but Philip yeah. Lucas say because uh -huh. that's all the the pastors, and you see how it is, you know. Here it is, you have this COVID nineteen thing going on, and all the churches are going down or closed down, but they're still collecting tithes. Niggas are making cash apps. You know, you got a cash app to pay your tithes to the, to the, to the church. Mm -hmm. You know, this is just to to fulfill their, their own belly, man. For Philip Lucas say, these people are not really out here doing this thing for the sake of the Lord. You know. Yeah, because they all about money. And yeah. When our Lord came, He said, um, He said he, he became poor for our sake, man. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, but these, I mean, these little you know, pastors, they want to do it. No, fit the Luca said they want to be rich. So if the Lord, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, He became poor for our sake. He wasn't looking for our glory, man. Yeah, he looking no, 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 no handouts, whatever, man. Uh, he said he came to do the will of his father. Right, that kind. Yeah, this is what we are doing, man. We, we trying to, we want salvation, man. That's why we warning the people. We telling you what things about to come. We not doing the work they're seeking, man. Right. We mm -hmm. eating the whole book, man. We telling you the bad and the good, and man. The good. That's right. You right. know, that's we eating a uh, sour, man. Cause right. Jacob Trouble is coming, whether you like it or not. You know, persecution is coming. Right. You know, I prophecy are uh, gonna stand. You know, but what, what, what? After, after the persecution, what we gonna have? We gonna have peace. We gonna be at rest. Yep. You know, so that, like you saying, that's a sweet and a bit of it, man. Yeah. Because these things gotta happen in order for the kingdom of heaven to come, man. Yep. And that's something that the church, like you said, like, that's something that the church is ain't teaching. Yeah, these all, things gotta happen, man. And also the other Israelite council, man. They ain't telling you about Jacob uh -huh. trouble, man. It's good to say, give them one for me. Blow you the trumpet. Uh, the trumpet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. Not just telling you 2020 gonna be your year. You know, you have to <laughs> heaven for us. The uh, so called black Spanish Latino and Native American Indians and the Spanish like folks. No, we ain't telling you all that, man. We're telling you that two thirds are gonna be cut off and die. The prophecy, man. Hey, Isaiah 58 and 1, man. Cry lies, cry lies, but not. Show my people that trade aggressive, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's how you know that's how you know who the true prophecy is, man. Yeah. Because when you go back to Jeremiah 28, it said, What the prophets are old, prophesy against great kingdoms. Yeah. Get, get, get it real quick, huh? And, and, and man, if you go to church, you know, you tell your pastor about all the wicked things you've done, all he's gonna say is, Oh, well, God. Yeah, God. God, God gonna forgive. forgive. Uh, yeah, God gonna forgive. How you know? Right. You, you know what I'm saying? You put yeah. set yourself up, man. All of God can, uh, you know, they say He will have most on him. He will have most on Exactly. So you don't, and, and then the crazy part, you don't even know if, if the Most High gonna forgive that wicked ass pastor that's talking to you right now. Yeah. So here it is. You believe it in the man. Once again, you, you believe in a man over the Most High, man. This man is not. Coming to you according to the scriptures, man. He's exactly. coming to you once again out of his own, out of, to fill his yeah, own yeah, belly. Yeah, you know, yeah. Filthy Lucas said. Well, they said to you things. Yeah, kind, know. yeah. You know, that's all the Christian church operates on. Yeah. You know, to prophesy smooth things unto you. God. Okay. Jeremiah twenty-eight. It's like it, uh, the prophets that had been before me and before thee of old prophesied mm -hmm. both against many countries mm -hmm. and against mm -hmm. great kingdoms of war. And of evil and of pestilence, man. And that's what you see now, you know. That's what we are prophesying, you know. That famine is going to come, pestilence, disease, martial law, persecution, tribulation, you know, distress. That's what we are prophesying about, man. Evil, bad time is coming, man. Not to, not just uh, to the so-called white people, you know, to uh, so-called black people. So called, uh, you know, Chinese, Japanese, prophets not to everybody. Because Scripture said, have no respect of person, man. Prophets not to all nations, man. God. You know, tell them their judgments. God, because, God. like in Ezekiel uh, 38, it says, uh, prophesy unto Gog and Magog. Yeah. You know, because, hey, we, you know, we, we go into, you know, Babylon the Great, you know, uh, America, you know, a lot. 
But hey, man, they, these, there's other nations at play, you know? Because yep. when that World War Three happens, it's going to include all the nations. Yeah. You know? And, and Yahweh has got to break down all these kingdoms to set up uh, Israel. Yeah, bro. Because all the scriptures. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say because all the nations so carry hand yeah. into our downfall. So, uh, 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 so I'm saying the third chapter, man. Yeah, yeah. They will say, uh, Jeremiah 30, 16, <laughs> every last one of them should go into captivity. God. You know? Yeah, not that you know. Yeah. 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 But, Hey, when, whenever the, the scriptures like Psalms, the uh, I think it's the second chapter. And I, yeah, ask me. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's all the heathen, not just Esau. Mm -hmm. You know, we we you know we're rubbing our hands, you know, waiting to get our hands on Esau's ass. But hey, you other nations too. Yeah, yeah. You forward our affliction, man. Yeah, they all gotta get it, man. Yeah, so. and, they, and it's not like you know people. Have, People in that mindset to where it's like, oh, I didn't do anything, but it's like, all you people have reaped the benefits of our captivity. God. Not once throughout history has uh, in any of the, of the 17 nations stood up and said, you know what, this is wrong with you people doing to the nation of Israel. You need to stop this right now. Hey, look at it, look at it today. Come and, and, and if they did, not 10 times out of 10, it was the Israelite foreigner. Yeah, yeah. So really, when you really look into it, no other nation has really stood up for the nation of Israel. So all your other nations are going to go down. Okay, it doesn't yeah. matter if you had yeah. slaves or not. What I matters is you reap the benefits of it and you had yeah, nothing to say. Okay? Okay. Just so like, I, I, go, you go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like, why? Wow, 115. Yeah. Yeah. I am very sore displeased with the heathen oh. that are at, at ease. Right, and, and the nation are at ease, man. Because oh, yeah. when you go to uh, Psalms, it speaks about how the, uh, uh, he said that the most high, uh, like the most high of a guy, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? He's like, the, the, yeah, how about Shemal Shah? Uh, Man, I'm trying to word it. He said that uh, he's about to hide himself, something like that. Uh huh. He's about God to hide himself. No, 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 no. He said that he kept silent. These kept things silent. he had kept yeah, silent. Yeah. But Esau thought that the Lord was with him. Oh, but really, the Lord got him in a trick bag. Yeah, yeah, come yeah. Psalms fifty. Yeah, yeah. Psalms fifty. Okay, I got you, buddy. Let me finish this. Psalms one fifteen. I got it right here. Very so displeased with the heathen that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they help for the uh, affliction. Listen, that's right, man. Because yeah. you got a thing called POW, which would call what prisoners of war. All right, because we, hey, we we served our captivity. But guess what? Just like the movie, uh, what was that movie, Roots? Mm -hmm. You know when they probably let them go on Roots, uh, um, uh, the, the owner son said, "Hell no." No, nope, they gon' they gotta pay or they gonna stay here. And uh Chicken Joe ended up shooting them, man, on the porch. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because it's like a representation of they helped forward to flip because they didn't wanna let us go, man. You know? We just came in, 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 in uh not a physical servitude, all right, but mentally, man. Because we still in bondage. Yeah. We ain't we ain't we ain't in chains and shackles no more, but we still prisoners of hope, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Cause they refuse to let us go. Yep. Come, and if I may add, you know, they really didn't let us go. They just emancipated us, and that means a, a transfer of ownership, mm -hmm. a transfer of property. Mm -hmm. So we still slaves, you know. We still, we still captives. We still in captivity here. Yeah. yeah. Cause you got slave trade going on right now. We are still uh, in li liberty, I believe. Mm -hmm. and I think the, uh, I heard the brother from Atlanta, Jacob, said something about Haiti. Um, and one as well. Don't quote me on it. Slide yeah, it, kind of, um, it. It really happens in like every third world country. Mm. You know, these people are you know broke out the ass. You know, and then they get they're subject to sex trafficking, which is yeah, just, just you know just a modern form of you know hardcore slavery. Mm. But shit, you got you know most of the time, shit. Most of the people that's doing that shit, or going through that shit is Jake. Yeah, you know that's just another way the most high showing his wrath against you people. <laughs> yeah, but hey, like it said right here though, Psalms 15 and 21, these things have thou done, and I kept silent. Thought to, uh, thou thoughtest that I was all together such as one as thyself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what that's really what's puffing up Esau, man. You know, cause he can go, he can go and talk to the demons, 
you know what I'm saying, and, and get puffed up even more. Mm -hmm. But you got to remember, the Most High said he appointed your vow that you cannot pass, man. So ultimately, you have Hashem HaShah got you in the trick bag, man. Mm -hmm. You only doing what the Lord allowed you to do, man. You know, yep. because the Lord said too. Also, He created the wicked for the day of evil. Mm -hmm. So you only doing what the Lord wants you to do, man. All right, because it's His will, not your will, not our will, but it's the will of the Heavenly Father for the day that's coming, man. And that's the day of destruction and deliverance, man. Yep. You know, uh, this Lamentation four and twenty one. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of us. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall and shall make thyself naked. Mm. Uh, and the cup is um uh, represents slavery too, man. You know? So we yeah. had drunk in that cup. Yeah. But how they draw mine for the night chapter, I believe, for the night trail. Yeah. You know? Yeah, cause hey, that, hey, that's a that's a mean cup that you you definitely gotta drink, man. Yep. Alright? A cup of lamentations, mourning and woe. Alright, the curses, everything, man. Everything that we've been through, that what our scriptures say, double unto her, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Hey, you got to feel that, man. We felt that because the scriptures say that it wasn't, we ain't supposed to drink of that cup, man. Mm -hmm. But we surely what? We surely drunk it. God. All right? And the Lord going to, hey, the Lord going to pay you back, man. You know? That's why you brought the scripture out. Uh, he has shown no mercy. I ain't going to receive no mercy, man. Uh, you, uh, you get two and fifteen. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, let me uh let me finish the twenty two out. Yeah. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sin. Yeah. See, he said we are no more going into captivity, man. So that's why gonna be a, that's why this time is coming. That known as Jacob trouble gonna be the worst time ever in in, in history, man. Yeah. In all the world, man. Why? Because this is the last time that the so-called Negroes, Latino, Native American, Hispanics go into slavery, man. That's right. All right? This is the last time we got to worry about anything, man. Uh, you know? Because the kingdom of heaven going to be the land of the free, man. But it is a life. All right? You, you got uh, to uh, get Lamentations 2. Yeah, 15. All right. Because not only, you know... The so-called white man, you know, he saw we them going to captivity, but you know, you hear you know, nation too. Right, y'all had a hand it. Y'all have four afflictions. Yep, Psalm eighty-three. Yep. This yep. is uh, Lamentation two and fifteen. All that pass by clap their hands mm -hmm. at thee. They hiss and wag their heads at the door of Jerusalem, saying, "Is this the city that men's called the profession of brutal, the joy of the whole earth?" Right, you see that now, talking shit about us, man. These niggas, what? You know, these niggas can't keep their pants up, you know? Uh -huh. Talking shit about us, man. Uh -huh. These can't be the true Israelites. They clapping their head, their hands, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gash the teeth. Right. They say, we have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we look for. We have found, we have seen it. Yeah, they seen it now. You know, they seen it now. But guess what? We finna, uh, we finna come back in power. Hey, man. hey, hey, hey finna backfire, man. Yeah. Yeah. You finna backfire, man. Ain't no more hissing uh, and, 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 and mashing your teeth at us, man. Talking about, man, these can't be the true people. These wetbacks, these picks, they all, all they do is kill each other, man. You know, these niggas can't be the prophets. Yeah. These niggas can't be the Israelites. But guess what? We are, man. We are the true Israelites, man. According to the Bible. Uh -huh. You know? Hey, God. And, like, when you go, like, outside of America into, like, other countries, you know, like, Australia, the fucking Japanese islands, Korea, like, South Korea, China, man, they, they're, like, more racist. Yeah. <laughs> So-called racist. You know? They think, like... Hey, the Israelites smell bad. Like when you look, they look at you. They think you're about to steal shit. Uh -huh. yeah. Like right off the bat, man. You know. Sure. Hey, but it's it's gonna flip flop, man. Okay. You know, we're we're gonna be the power and rule. We're gonna make sure you know to keep them in check. Hey, don't steal nothing. Don't fucking yeah. step our way. Yeah, we're gonna man. stay the fuck up in your land. Yeah, and that's prophecy. Isaiah the second chapter, man. You know, that should teach us on um, their laws. Mm -hmm. You know, you got the I think so, man. Yeah, I got a precept though. Jeremiah 40, 49. 49 and 12. This is uh, Jeremiah 49 and 12. 
For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk me. Right, we, we drunk of that cup, man. From Judah all the right way down to Issachar, man. You know, we drunk of that cup. Because we went off, you know. And art thou he that shall altogether go and punish? Right, you know, we hey, we are gods, man. We are Yashallah, man. Mm -hmm. We are the chosen. We wasn't supposed to drink of that cup, but we drunk of that cup because we went off, man. You know? Right. Thou shalt not go and punish, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Right, it goes back to the limitation. You surely should drink of that cup. Fill on fill on uh, onto our double. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, I got one too, but it says, For I have sworn by myself, saith Yahweh, by Shin Yahweh that Basra shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be a per perpetual waste. Right, and that's a spiritual prophecy, man. This place will be destroyed by the Lord of the man. That's right. right. You know? It's on Revelation 13 and 10. He that leadeth in the captivity. Start going about so like the um, Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Verse 10. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. Mm -hmm. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Yeah. And they will kill him right there, man. Mm -hmm. This is our patient. This yeah. why this why because patience go back into suffering, man. Mm -hmm. They go back to waiting. The Lord said, Well, pardon me. Well, pardon me. This is our patience and faith. Oh, this God. is our hope, you know. Yeah, I got precepts. You know? We just gotta wait and let prophecy um, play out. I gotta let it fulfill, man. Gotta let it, fulfill, gotta let it play out, man. Come you know, because the Lord said, uh, I think not, uh, I can call for um, a legion. You know? Yeah. Well, he had to wait. Yeah, I had to wait, man. Yeah. He could have been in there. Yeah. But he knew he had to do the will of the Father, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when he was uh, praying in the Garden of Gethsemane, Gethsemane he said, uh, you know, he asked the Lord if, if, there's, any other, uh, if there's any other way. Wait, wait, I can pass the cup. Pass the yeah. cup. Mm -hmm. Come on. He said, when the book of Psalms, say, wait on the Lord. You know, be of good courage. And he said, strengthen thine heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? He said, bless all day. You know, wait on the Lord, man. Not, not avenging yourself, man. Come on. You know, mm -hmm. it's all boiled down to faith, man. Mm -hmm. And why faith is the key, man. You gotta have faith in your have by Shem man. Yeah, that's right. The thing that you go through, man. Yep, yeah, because we, we, yeah, we still gotta drink our cup, man. The yeah. hour of temptation, mm -hmm. you know? But hey, the only thing is, the Lord gonna be with us. He's gonna deliver us, you know? Being in the truth, we drinking cups. Mm -hmm. We drinking that cup, mm -hmm. you know? Because we, we, we burn our own cross, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Through day to day, man, we still gotta go through the trial and tribulation. But it's better that we go through it now than going through it later with two thirds, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, at least we know what we're going. At least we know what it's about. We're going through the trial tribulation because look what we're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying we fight for the kingdom of heaven. Two thirds going through trial tribulation, and they ain't fighting for the kingdom of heaven, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I say better to suffer for righteous than evil doing, man. At least we know what we're suffering for, man. God. You know, we suffering for your high by Shema. That's why I say. Put yourself in like mind, man, in the, in the same matter. As you have a shot, so we gonna suffer also, man. God. You know? But it's a beautiful thing because we get granted with the kingdom of heaven. Lord willing, we continue in the faith, man. Mm -hmm. We get we get we get placed with a crown on our head, man, for going through the things that we went through, man. As the apostles, all right, and, and, and the prophets the old went through. You know? But uh you can jump for yourself and then I'm gonna come back with this one. I got one. Alright, this is uh Revelation chapter two. We're going to start at verse 25. It says, But thou which ye have already hold fast till I come, Ooh, and, he, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And that's what we want, mm -hmm. man. That's what we need. All right? Because do you know the elect are we the rulers, the judges of the earth, man? He said, He's going to give us power over all the nations, man. And we continue it in the faith, man, and hold fast with our hands, man. Yep. Let no man take your crown, man. Yep. You know, so that means keep pushing and have faith in your heart by Shema to the end, man. Because he said, "What? Well, be faithful unto death, God. and he gonna fight for you, man." That's right. You know, that's something to have faith in, man. God. To death, man. Because what does he say? The dead shall rise first, man. If you die in the truth, guess what? You gonna be on the chair for any other brother, man. You know, that's something to have faith in, man. You know, because ain't no greater. Greater love than laying your life down for who? Your brothers, man. Yeah. 
You know, and you have a shot being the chief one, man, because he laid his life down for us, man. Uh, we should have that like mine. Like, you got to have the same like mine. The Lord did for us. We, we should do it in return. It's nothing. Because he had the ultimate sacrifice. When we going through ain't nothing compared to what you have a shot went through. Mm -hmm. This light affliction is only for what? For a moment. Yeah, we are soldiers, man. You know? Soldiers, like, I would, most soldiers, you know, they, if they don't bitch up, they yeah. would just not, uh, they would just taste them. You know, instead of uh, giving them uh, their secrets out. Basically. That's right. You know, it's telling them. Selling out, basically. Yeah, kill me. Mm -hmm. Yep. It would like, taste death, you know, get tortured, then, Ooh. you know, selling out, man. But, you know, Esau makes so many movies like that. And on every movie, a person always swilling. Mm -hmm. You even notice that? On every movie, when a person getting, getting confronted with a gun or a knife, getting tortured just to swill or tell, a person always telling instead of dying. Yep. You know, because they used to, he trying to instill that in Jake mind. To, to, to tell. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the mm -hmm. scriptures what speak differently, man. You know, you don't post the, the tell, man. You die for the for the spirit of power you have by Shema Shah. No, I ain't eating no pork. Kill me. No, I ain't taking the mark of the people star by a deep chip. Kill me. No, I ain't finna denounce the Lord. Kill me. Mm -hmm. You know, but Esau and, and his media and the TV shows and the movies he put it in a whole different form, man. Cool, and, man. And, and, and you know, like TV, television. So let's get installed and Jake like, okay then. So if I do get tested, I'm just gonna tell. You. No, man. He supposed to die, man. Yeah, and kind of, they they also like if you study like Esau's laws here in America, they also give you less time if, if you tell. Uh -huh. if, you yeah, yeah. if you cooperate with him. Mm -hmm. Oh man, you go out like a soldier, man. I ain't telling. Do whatever you want to do to me, man. You know, that's the mind that you gotta have, man. Like the brother said, being a soldier, man. You gotta, you gotta, hey, what the Lord said, hey, my enemy, your enemy, man. Yep. Hey, um, like they are no survival, man. That's a good movie to watch. Uh, soldier Man Fraternity, the Mark Burkhardt, no survival. Mm -hmm. You know, because he was being tortured, you know, like towards the end. Then the help came, you know. They finally showed up then. You know, he never gave up, man. You know, so you gotta keep pushing, man. Uh -huh. Keep faith. You gotta, uh, Right. Yeah, kind of back in uh, Revelation chapter 2 verse 27 ye shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers mm -hmm. even as I received of my father that's right because we're going to draw earth with you have a shot man all right so we're going we're gonna to be ruling too but you have a shot the ultimate king man right. he the king of kings lords of lords man that's right you know well I got this job uh 34, 33. Uh, it says, should it be according to thy mind, meaning your mind, question, he will recompense it. Whether thou refuse, or whether thou choose, or not, I therefore speak what thou knowest. You know, so whether we like it or not, whether we know it or not, we yet today are not captive of what? For the transgression of the law of the commandments of our forefathers. All right, whether Esau want it or not, or believe it or not, he gonna have to go through what he gotta go through. Mm -hmm. You know? For the transgression of his what? Forefathers, man. When you go into Revelation 14 and 21. Isaiah 14. I mean, Isaiah, so like Isaiah 14 21. The first slaughter for what? Thy children for the iniquity of thy father. The same thing, man. You know? So these curses that's, that's upon us as being Israelites gonna go upon the nation, the other nations, man. Start with Esau chiefly, man. You know? And they're going to have to catch it. You know? Mm -hmm. You got to go out. You got to go. I have it. Okay. Uh, two step up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I had some. I, I grabbed it. All right, go ahead. Because we can go and wrap it up in a minute. Right, let's go. This is Mr. Solomon. I started one. Uh, with Solomon 3 and 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the most high. Woo. And there should no torment touch them. Hey, believe. Uh -huh. Well, look at the prophet, man, when, 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 when Peter and them was getting beat. All right. Uh, for the name of Yahweh Shema Shah. They didn't feel a thing. They were rejoicing. Uh -huh. Hey, they are the seven children. 
You know, uh -huh. I ain't, just think about it. They ain't feel nothing, man. The Lord, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they ain't feel nothing, man. The spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shah was upon them, man. So just think about when, 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 when uh, the yeah. devil come down, huh? It's so like you not to cut you off, but Yahweh Shah was actually with them. With them, yeah. yeah. The, the, the person that threw He's away. He said, I see, I see the four, four person. Four people. Like the son of the, uh, 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 God. Yeah, so just think about it when, when like it said in Luke, that we're going to be brought before kings for the, for the name's sake, and Esau going to torture us or do whatever he want to do to us. Guess what? The Lord going to protect us, man. That's right. You know? The Lord going to have it like it, it, the shit doesn't even matter. You know? That's the faith that you got to have, man, that you have by Shema Shai going to be with us the whole time, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Hey, oh, he said everything written before time. Well, what? Rip by yeah, learning, man. That's why we read these scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. Because the things that we read, it got to, hey, we got to stick with it. You know? Because all this is written of old times that happened, man. That's why it's called prophecy, man. Yeah. It's happened before, man. And some of us will be on um, getting tortured. Yeah, it's said we're going to be models for the truth, man. Yeah. Everybody ain't going to just be delivered, you hey. know, on GP, man. Brothers got to catch it. Yeah, mm -hmm. hey, I'm, hey, since we on that torture, we just jump on to the second chapter, which is Psalm 2 and 17. Oh, yeah. You know, because Esau, he a devil, man, you know. He said, let us see if his words be true, and let us prove what should happen in the end of him. Woo. For if the just man be the son of the most high, he will help him. See? And deliver him from the hand of his enemies. Woo. Let us examine him with despitefulness and torture. See? That we may know his meekness and prove his patience. So that's why I said they should uh, go ahead, go ahead. So, so, so Esau just want to do it just to see it, man. Uh -huh. That's just how it you know he's a devil, man. But yeah. guess what? We gonna go through it and Lord willing, yeah. we gonna um, we 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 can do it to the end, man. Okay, uh -huh. you get First Corinthians ten and fifteen. Yep, yep. You know? What does what scripture say? Uh, um, uh, read that one more time, huh? Uh, Cause I just lost Doctor. Which is Solomon two nineteen. Let us examine him with despitefulness and torture, that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. All right. You know. Ah, there. That's why in Luke, in Luke, the, the twenty second chapter, it speaks about they ain't gonna be able to gain no this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna be able to, man. Because they're gonna see the power of your high by Shema Shah upon the men of the Lord, man. Yeah. Whatever they, whatever they do or try to do to us, man, they gonna see like damn. The, 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 the God of Israel is real, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. John, just like uh, Pontius Pilate, when he was, you know, questioning how he was shot, he said, I found no fault with this man. If he dies, let it let the blood be upon the altar. Oh, come on, come on. But it was on him, too, because he sanctioned it. Yeah. So, so yeah. He, still, he still didn't get away. Yeah, he still can't get away from judgment. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, first Corinthians. Yeah. Come on, it's on First Corinthians chapter but ten. But you know, it say uh, the souls of the just should be beheaded, man. You know. But you got a lot of questions. Come on, are you good, bro? First Corinthians chapter ten, verse thirteen. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape. Right. You know. With the temptation, he make y'all uh, make a way for you to escape, man. So the most high know your um, your tolerance, man. Mm -hmm. Your pain tolerance, man. Come remember on. that, man. That's a good scripture to remember, man. If you are being tortured, man. Mm -hmm. You got to build, man. He said he won't put no more on you that uh, read it against talking. Come on, it's on First Corinthians chapter ten, verse thirteen. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted. Above that ye are able. Wait, above that ye are able, man. So if it's so lot to be tortured for a, a small second, man, just bear it, man. Mm -hmm. Don't call you for no reason, man. Come on. It's a child of your faith. Come and it's gonna be your testimony, man. It's gonna be in, in your book. Cause we're gonna be living legends. Mm -hmm. You know? But one thing for sure, Esau would not kill all the prophets, man. Come on. Yeah, you know, it's a song um some of which are live. Uh, uh, so we beam up. Yeah, the should be caught over in, yeah, in the clouds, man. You know, there'll be some of you standing here who should not taste of death, man. Uh -huh. So at least I will not kill all the prophets this go around. Mm -hmm. We got the victory, man. Uh -huh. You know? That's right. Uh -huh. You done that? Um, I said a demo. But will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Right. Be able to bear it, man. You know? So we got to bear it, man. You know? That's why I said be faithful unto death, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the Lord long suffering. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but your legs say, hey, we gotta be the same way. Yeah, so hey, remember too long, say, um, um, back in uh, Rich Solomon here, um, one, but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Messiah, and that's your no torment to touch them, man. Hey, Lord, man, put the stone on you when you want, that you won't feel it, man. Mm -hmm. He's like he did uh, the, the uh, seven children in the book of Maccabees, man. I remember my brother uh, from my hour, I think Des Moss, he said, mm -hmm. we'll be numb to the pain. Yeah, I, I got a you cool know? one right there, bag you up, Bob. This, uh, this Baruch, uh, like this Baruch 4 18, it said, For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from your hands of your enemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of. That, that's, that's another thing that, you know, carnal Israelites don't understand. Hey, uh -huh. we're cursed, and our curse is actually a blessing, man. Because it's through the curses that we found out who we are. Mm -hmm. And that's how yeah. we know that the Lord is dealing with us. Yeah. It's because yeah. He's punishing us. Come on. Yeah. Come you know, on. you, you got to look at those curses as, as a blessing, man. And, and, and right then and there, it says the one that put these curses upon you, He's going to deliver you. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> like, hey, but Jake can't understand that. Two thirds uh, can't understand that. Hey, they think a curse is, you know. He just fucked. Yeah, yeah, so might man. as well do wickedness if we're under curse. Uh -huh. yeah. But hey, that's not the spirit, man. Then yeah. it says, from your enemy. Because who coming down and having great wrath? Uh -huh. Our enemy. Yep. Yeah, if I can add that, also let you know that the Lord hasn't forgotten about if you're chosen. You know, he had, where he, about his people. Yeah, yeah, that's right, though. You know, because all of Israel, you know, under the curses. So he, all of Israel should be saved is his victim, you know? So the Lord hasn't forgotten about us, man. That's why yeah. they say, yet yeah, have love thee. In the book of America. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, the Lord hasn't forgotten about us. Because man. that's how Jake think, man. Mm -hmm. You know? But you got to go to it, man, to receive the king. Hey, second Andrews, the second, the second chapter tell you that, man. You know? Yeah. Anybody got something? Yeah, when well, you get the last one, we can close that. Uh, I'm just going to go back to verse 7, 3, and 2. In kind of. sight of the arrives, they seem to die, and their departures take from misery. And they're going from us to be utter destruction, but, but they are in peace. Right. For do they be punished in the sight of man? Yes, they hope for their immortality. See? And yeah, in the sight of man, we punish, but you gotta remember, man, this ain't we, the kingdom of heaven, man. They just don't know what the, the, what we're gonna get for this, man. Come on. You know? That's why the Paul said, uh, they actually have a shot. Hey, what we gonna get for, for doing all this, man? You take it all. You know what I'm saying? We forsook everything. You know, and that's what they patiently waiting on right now, man, to receive that glory of the kingdom of heaven, man. Yeah, Lord willing. Yep, Lord willing, go ahead. It's five. It said, in heaven being a little chastised, they should be greatly rewarded mm -hmm. for the yep. Lord's son. Yep, because what he say? He chastised those that what? He loved them. Yeah. You know? It's a little chastised. That's just a little. Because uh, our light affliction just built for a moment, you know? Hey, but then, on top of that, I... He ain't really heaven. He said his arm still stretched out still, so the Lord still have mercy. That's just like your mama whooping your ass, but she whooping you, but she ain't putting her all into it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, she just, just trying to get you to realize and understand mm -hmm. instead of just really beating your ass like a, a bruiser one. You know what I'm saying? A bruiser person. Yeah. There's a difference, man. The Lord really not a bruising us, man. He yeah. just let us know. Man, but that's the yep. thing too is uh before your parents start beating you they might lecture you to yep. see if you'll admit and uh, yeah, they realize, yeah, uh -huh. realize what you did wrong yeah if you're still trying to justify what you did that's when they get angry and just mm -hmm. start beating you. yeah mm -hmm. man that's that's what the lord is doing right now he's talking through his prophets seeing if the the you know the good kids are realizing that back to it. yeah yep that's right don't come back to them uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, then your parents have been whoop you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they whoop you because they love you. You know, they tell you, once you know, I'm going to whoop you because I love you. Yeah. You know, the most high right. loves us. Because I ain't love you, I'm going to whoop you. I just right. let you do what you want to do. Yeah. But you my son. That's what I've done. I love you. You, you my son. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to get you. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm going to set you straight because mm -hmm. I want my son to be out here like that. That's hey, right. Amos 3, the third chapter. Yeah. Five and one, you know? Yep. Go ahead. I'm going to finish it. It said, um, and having made a little chastised, they should be greatly rewarded. For the Most High proved them and found their rewarded for himself. Is going to the Father's how he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. Are y'all so temptation, man? Yep. But it's, it's for the good, man. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. for the good we go through this hell that we catch him. 
to build our spirit up for the time that's coming, man. Uh -huh. That everything that we gonna go through when Jacob trouble kick off, hey, all our trust and faith is in Yahweh Shemar Shah. That's right. right. You know, that's why we go through the things that we go through in life. Cause every brother go through certain things, but we don't all go through the same things, man. We go through different things, but it all to build us up, man, for the time that's coming. Uh -huh. That's why the Lord put us through that, man. Go ahead, man. Uh, they say uh, they should judge. They should judge the nations and have. And have dominion over the people, see? And they Lord should reign forever. They that put their trust in him should understand the truth. Mm -hmm. And such so as should be faithful and love should abide with him. Mm -hmm. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he had cared for his elect. Mm -hmm. I ain't care for the elect. Wait a second, wait a second, y'all, before we close, out. Huh? If the days have not been short for the elect, let's say. You close on that, huh? <laughs> man, get in, man. Yeah, that's a good preacher to close out on. Yeah. Okay, it's all about the elect. The elect will not take the mark of the beast. They will not bow down. They will not be on um, into other philosophies, man. And that's something. And then uh, that's something the church don't. I ain't, I, I ain't never heard that in the church mm -hmm. about the elect. Mm -hmm. No, the elect. Oh, we heard no. about mm -hmm. everybody. Everybody. I ain't never heard about the elect. When you hear about the elect, it, it should put fear in you. Like it's on the chosen people that gonna be saved. Like, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I need to be a, I need to be a part of the chosen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I want to teach you that John said, "You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you." Exactly. You know? <laughs> I think I'll bring that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse twenty-two. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. That's why time rolling like it's rolling. Mm -hmm. huh? Time rolling. Why? Because of the elect's sake. Because he know that if Esau continue, all right, in, in, in his in his path that he walking, this earth will be destroyed. Plus, plus the people, man, mm -hmm. yep. he'll kill himself. Yep. The way that the way that he rolling, he gonna kill himself and everybody else too. Yep. So the Lord had to speed up time, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but what the elect to be saved? Do I say he is long suffering to us? Word, all right. But any shall perish, meaning the elect shall perish. But all come to repentance. Man. All right, so everything is is, is being held and, um, and put on hold for the elect, man. Because once the elect is sealed, what he say, the mm -hmm. end shall come, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's why time moving so fast and everything getting put like on, on the steel because the elect have to be sealed, man. Mm -hmm. You know, example is the five G. You know, birds dying, animals dying, are dying. Yeah. You know, five G. That's what killing us, man. You know. It's just so much, man. So much. We're pressed on every side. Yeah. You know, tax up the ass on every little thing that you know you work towards. You can't even work for you know a just wage. Uh, not you know, you're pressed on all sides. Mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why he said that for the elect's sake. Uh, go ahead. Don't finish it up. But for the elect's sake. Those days shall be short. Uh -huh. See? And that's what we patiently waiting on for the elect to get sealed, man. Everything, man, I'm talking about. Everything will be right. Because that's what he said. He's going to flip everything right side up, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And that's what we patiently waiting on, man. Uh -huh. This kingdom got to go. That's right. This kingdom got to go. This ain't even no damn kingdom, man. You know, this this this, this place got to go, man. Uh -huh. All right? For a hey, Yahweh Shai, all right, chiefly, you know, the head. And on down, man. Right, we're going to be we're gonna be dwelling in the kingdom of righteousness, man. Uh -huh. All right? A new heaven and a new earth, man. They dwell in the righteous, man. That's what we're patiently waiting on, man. You know? So with that, man, we'll give our honor and glory and power to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Akadash. They will say double honors to our elders that peace and bless the hope to let. Hey, till next time, brother. Shalom. 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 Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Barak Ha'aki, man. Barak Ha'aki. That's right, brother.